Whether you're a new startup or a manufacturer that's trying to sell into new grocery chains, it's important to understand what's on the minds of grocery buyers. Remember, there are always more sellers than buyers in the B2B CPG arena, and those buyers are very good at detecting lack of knowledge and certain weaknesses. To have a successful meeting and build a trust-based relationship with your prospective client, you must prepare for those questions. Depending on your product category share, some market information and how your product fits in that segment of the market, better for you, grab and go and proportion control items for specialty foods and snacking products are the fastest growing categories for the past five years. Niche categories like gluten-free, non-GMO, fair trade have a competitive advantage with smaller market share but also more educated and motivated consumers. Share some examples of your penetration in the market. Share marquee store names that you have a reasonable footprint. You can give the number of products on the shelf next to you in peer stores if you have an advantage. Preferably you need to mention your existing customers similar to the prospective client regarding market segment, consumer profile and the channel. Your examples should be comparable to the client stores and you shouldn't emphasize too much on the different type of stores in the early rounds. So here you need to talk about your go-to-market strategy, capitalizing on the consumer trends, aggressive marketing tactics, field sales activities, in-store merchandising and the demo programs. In addition to the core program strengths, you can mention your supplemental programs, flexibility for participation in promotional programs for more volume and higher profitability. You can talk about regions and customer segments responding to your product and marketing efforts with higher returns. What regional clusters or urban areas performing better compared to the rest of your existing customers? Here you might want to talk about the quality of ingredients, transparent nutrition information, food safety and quality certifications of your plant or co-packers you work with. Explain your buyer persona, customer segments and clusters, those are more responsive to your marketing copy, sales activities and of course the product itself. Give examples of who would resonate with your marketing message and brand identity as a consumer. Do your homework and study that particular store's product offerings and the retail pricing before your meeting so you can give some information about the pricing of your competitors in that store and draw a clear picture of how your product can be positioned. Make reference to your competition and relative pricing strategies and advantages. Also use some market research data about how much consumers are willing to spend in your particular product category for different tiers. Be honest with yourself and with your client. Don't exaggerate your existing capacity. If you have an expansion plans, you can mention them. Answer this very clearly. Mention your current logistics partners, your own fleet for local and DSD deliveries. Ask about clients' preferences and research about those companies. This is up to you and your branding and growth strategy, but keep it in mind that the private label industry is growing fast. Because of the new era of direct marketing and communication with consumers is a highly personalized experience in this digital age, Stores are pushing for customer loyalty and brand equity. You need to have GMP and kosher at the bare minimum, even at the early stages. SQF Level 2 is a must-have certification if you'll target nationwide grocery chains. 
USD organic, non-GMO, fair trade certifications might be necessary depending on your product category and your brand's positioning strategy.